Hello, I'm Anissa Morrison, also known as Abstract Anissa, and I wanted to let you know about healing through art. Just five years ago, I spent maybe 30 minutes a day being able to move, and that's not good. Um, I was just you know, started being 40 years old, and that is way too young to have your life no longer be something that you're in control of and, and no longer be able to move and get around and do things and clean your house, little things like that. Uh, I had been to doctors and doctors and doctors and doctors and they kept giving me pills and supplements and IV treatments and shots of B that I could take and, and it was still there. <laughs> uh, I decided to go all organic and start filling myself with the things that mattered, with, with beauty, because there's beauty everywhere. And I did that by this impressionist show that came through Denver when I was living there at the time. And, and I looked at the canvases, and parts of the canvases didn't even have me paint on them. And they were expressive. No, nobody was trying to be perfect. They were just trying to get that expression. And it was so beautiful. And you had a totally different piece as you looked really closer. If you looked over in this area or you looked over in that area, then you did if you stood back and encompassed the whole thing. And then I decided that every part of every day needed to have some looking. Really looking and getting in there and, and seeing that little piece of canvas that's exposed or or that dimension and seeing it close and seeing it far. And you know what? It started to feel better. <laughs> I you know, changed my diet. I was trying to exercise about a minute a day, which was big at that time. And But every day looking at this art, I started feeling better. And the more time that I would spend looking at the art, I started feeling better. I, I looked on the internet and they showed up the same thing was happening with burn victims. They were given these virtual reality headsets, the big thing that goes across your eye and and as they're scraping to be able to try to get them some more movement out of their skin, which I have heard and I can only imagine is so, so painful. They were in playing this game and watching these really basic figures doing other things and you know, that's the same premise. You take your mind from my thought view. You take your mind someplace where it's not dealing with logical and it's it's not processing pain and it's not living in the moment right now with all of the, the realities around you and all of a sudden your mind gets a break and it can start taking that energy and reflecting it into the healing that your body actually needs to do. Now, I would love to say that the doctors uh, come up with cures, but they're human, you know? I mean, we all do the best that we can, and I know they're doing the best that they can, but sometimes they come up with maintenance. Now, I don't want to maintain being sick. I don't think anybody I know wants to maintain being sick, but looking constantly looking and you know, the more that I had to look at and the more dimensions that were involved it seemed the better I did it just seemed to take me someplace else I wasn't focusing on something and I, I wasn't trying to find the perfection in something I was there experiencing and that experiencing today just Five short years later, I'm able to move around, I'm able to do things, I'm able to take long walks, I'm able to go hiking, and most of all, I'm able to paint. Now my paintings, it's kind of showing you the beginning of one right here. This is wall putty. Now this is gonna be the next one that I do, but I start off that way because I love the dimension that it gives it. Wonderful interest, and it's not perfect. And so you can find the emotion in there. And then I add a bunch of colors and I play with them and I have a background. And then I come back and I play with the background. 
And then I start adding some lines, as you'll see here. And they work around the wall putty. And then I add dimensions, I add swoops, I add circles, I add dots, and splashes, and splutters, and, and this is what I'm doing with my art, because if you take the time going way back, you can see a lot. And you still have a lot more to see going way forward. Little bits and pieces. Wall putty, paint, dimension, color, shading, highlighting. All of these things I'm putting in there on purpose. I want a truly look promoting painting. I want to give so much that once these people get this work, they're going to spend a lot of time looking. You know, even if you're not feeling bad, everybody gets stress. I wish, well, maybe I don't wish there wasn't stress in the world. Makes life interesting, but I wish every person could get that benefit. Uh, as soon as you start really looking at a painting, you know, all that that tightness in your shoulders goes away and, and this is the message I'm trying to get out and this is why I'm asking for money. Now, we simplified our life. We moved to Arizona so that I could paint and I could create and get better and we have, we've simplified. I'm working on the website right now. I'm, I have a deadline coming up very soon when I want to have that done and launch it and press release. And after that, my artwork, I like it. I don't expect everybody to like it. But I do expect to be able to get out that message. And I want people to know one of the keys to my healing was looking. Really looking. And it's such a simple thing. And it's free. And it can help so many people. So what I'm asking you to do is... Give me the money that I need to spend the next year promoting the idea. My art's going to go along with it. It's created for that. But the idea, that, that's something that, that can help change so many people's lives if they choose to embrace it, if they, they choose to take it and go somewhere, because it certainly changed mine. And I'm really glad my whole life is about it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you. Before we even start, thank you. Because even if you're not donating, you know. And you can go out there and you can tell everybody else too. And if you have that friend who is sick and, and, and really struggling right now, you can give them an avenue, uh, a place. And we can spread the word. Thank you. I'm Vanessa Morrison, Abstract Vanessa, and we'll see you soon.